Lawyers reveal whether Harry's drug use will affect U.S. visa. Prince Harry could lose his rights to live in the United States for being too honest about his past drug use. After so much exposure, especially with the releases of the spare memoir and documentary series on Netflix, Prince Harry could lose his right to live in the United States for being too honest about his past drug use. At least, that's what a legal expert on the Page Six website defends. An admission of drug use is generally grounds for inadmissibility, said former federal prosecutor Nima Ramoni. According to him, this means that the Duke of Sussex's visa should have been denied or revoked because he admitted to using cocaine, mushrooms and other drugs. He added that there is no exception for real members or for recreational use. Harry revealed in his memoir, released in January, that he drank a lot, used cocaine and smoked marijuana throughout his life. While he commented that he only used cocaine in his teens, he also admitted to experimenting with psychedelics well into adulthood. Youngest son of King Charles III, the prince said during an online chat with trauma expert Gabba Mate earlier this month that he considers hallucinogenic drugs a fundamental part of his life. It brought me a feeling of relaxation, relief, comfort, a lightness that I managed to hold for a period of time, he said at the time. I started doing it recreationally and then I started to realize how good it was for me, he said. For lawyer James Leonard, Harry's status in the US is not high risk, which differs from Nima Ramoni's opinion. Absent any drug or alcohol-related criminal charges or any finding by a judicial authority that Prince Harry is a habitual drug user, which he clearly is not, I see no problem with the revelations in his memoirs about experimentation. Recreational drug use, he concluded to page 6. The expert explained that drug users who are not U.S. citizens would have to give immigration officials a reason to initiate an investigation into the individual's status as if it were a criminal act. You have to give them something that triggers that and reveal in a book that you experimented with drugs when you were young. I don't think I'll get there, he added. Immigration attorney Sam Adair agreed with James Leonard that these admissions are unlikely to amount to anything serious. Had there been a conviction, it would likely have been a significant problem in obtaining a visa, he pointed out. This is not to say that drug use cannot be an issue in the immigration process, but under the circumstances it is unlikely to pose a problem, the attorney opined. Nima Ramoni stressed that there is no requirement that the person be actually convicted of a drug offense. He noted, though, that a loophole for drug users to remain in the U.S. would be to obtain a waiver as proof that their substance abuse is in remission. Meghan Markle's husband has not revealed whether he has struggled with drugs or had to go to rehab. Sam Adair then stated that past recreational drug use isn't something that was likely to come up in a visa interview, so it very possibly wasn't an issue during Harry's approval process. Drug use could be an issue if there is already an arrest, charge or conviction, but recreational use would probably not show up at the visa interview, said the immigration attorney. Harry and Meghan's move to California, USA, took place in early 2020, shortly after they left the royal family in England. According to a 2021 article published in The Times, the Duke has no plans to seek permanent U.S. residency, citizenship or a green card at any time. An immigration attorney previously told Page Six that if a problem arose, his wife, who was born in the state, could sponsor him. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be updated about all of the royal family.